How about this one? Little Katie likes to nest everywhere she goes. She takes her blanket here and her blanket there. Blanket here, blanket there, blanket, blanket everywhere. Little Katie likes to nest everywhere she goes. No, 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 no. Okay, I just saw a commercial for some kind of drawing or winning. You can win two gas cards. One is like a hundred dollars and one is a thousand dollars. And they were wording it like this. You could win a thousand dollars of free gas. I don't, I think that's a stupid wording. I think it's, you win a thousand dollars worth of gas. If it was a thousand dollars of free gas, the ga the, you wouldn't need the thousand dollars. It's free gas. I mean, the only free gas you get is the gas that comes out of your ass. <laughs> Sarah and I were just talking about sex, which a lot of people do. And I was telling her, like, yesterday, I thought about sex. Probably 75% of my thoughts were about sex. Today, about 60%. So I, I asked Sarah what her thoughts on sex were. And here, this is what she said. I was thinking that he was probably thinking about having sex, but that I was not thinking about having sex myself, just about him. So to clarify, the man thinks about sex, the woman thinks about her husband thinking about <laughs> sex. So th there's the level of importance there. But at least she was thinking kind of about it. That's better than not at all. You know one thing that really bugs me? Why can't cable companies like AT&T and Comcast ever just tell you what the price is going to be? I don't want to know what the price is going to be now through six months. Big deal if it's $19.99. I want to know what the price is going to be permanently. I think it's too deceiving to not tell you what the real price is. They make it look like it's some kind of deal. Give me the real price. I'm sure you all have heard the term a drop in the bucket. A friend of mine in college and I, we used to talk about if you'd put a drop of pee in a gallon of water, would you still drink that gallon of water? And he always argued the, to the point, no, he wouldn't do it because it's pee in the water, just based on that fact alone. And I'd always say yes, because you know what's a drop of pee in a gallon of water? That's, you're never going to tell. So what would you guys do? A drop of pee in a bucket of water? I mean, what about a quarter of a cup of pee in a gallon of water? Still, you probably would never know that there's pee in the water. Well, we sat down here on the deck. It's 90 today, and we are going to eat a dessert that took six hours to make. How did you make that dessert? We froze it, and mixed it again, and froze it for another three hours. Katie wanted to make this. How does it taste, Katie? Katie's really preoccupied by the bugs. She's afraid of bugs. Why are you afraid of bees? Um, just because they sting. I just read an article on USA Today, and it said that mermaids are coming back in style. They're going to be the new it thing. I guess they're going to maybe replace vampires? Come on now. How could anything replace vampires? So it got me thinking about mermaids and how they're usually presented as kind of sexual creatures. So I was thinking about, okay, well, who are the, who are the mermaids that we're all familiar with? We got... Splash, that movie with Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah, she was a mermaid. Of course, we got The Little Mermaid. And then I kind of dry up. I'm not quite sure. I, You know, there's mermaids on the cartoon Peter Pan. There's mer mermaids in the new Pirates of the Caribbean. By the way, do you say Caribbean or Caribbean? What about A Fish Called Wanda? I've never seen that movie, but is there a mermaid in that one? So, uh, who's the sexiest mermaid of all time? Please inform me if there's other mermaids that I just am missing. 
Oh, Bar- there's a Barbie mermaid movie, but let's not count her as the sexiest one of all time. Please, come on. Katie told her teacher this morning, she goes, guess what? I'm going to meet Jesus tonight. Mrs. Siegel thought, oh my gosh, what is that family into? We're going to take Katie to see her first live musical tonight, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Now, it's a high school production, keep in mind, but it's still pretty good. But she's pretty excited. She has her dress on, and she also has a, um, what are those called? A feather boa. A feather boa on, too. I try everything, and it doesn't make a... Have you ever asked yourself, can you actually look hot while you're gardening? Uh, the answer is yes. Mom! What? Sarah's pulling weeds and looking hot. By the way, how do you like the shade? 